Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is my second video on this channel, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a block by block tutorial of how to make an easy, simple, and efficient way um, honey farm. So, these are all the materials that you will need for this farm. Not including this, this is just because I am in creative mode. So, you're going to need 16 dispensers, 27 rails, uh, any kind of hoe, a lever, two redstone repeaters, six any kind of any amount of building blocks that you want have on you, um, four powered rails, 36 hoppers, 38 redstone dust, um, a water bucket, um, 16 poppies, six redstone torches, uh, 16 observers, 16 beehives, four chests, um, a minecart with a chest, and a redstone comparator and a a good sum of glass or you can use a building block instead of glass I just am going to be using glass for aesthetics um, anyways let's get into it so first thing you want to do you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dig out a certain little area so you're going to dig out an one by eight area so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you have that, you should check with your water bucket to see if that's the max extent. It is. So I need that. Okay. Um, after you've done that, you're gonna want to break out these two sides, like so. You're going to want to break out this and this, place a chest here and here, and then once you have that, you're going to also break out these, these two sides. Once you have that, you're going to want to place hoppers facing into each other all the way along. And once you've done that, you're going to want to take grass. If you're building this on grass, it will be way easier. Um, if not, you're going to need to have 16 grass. Or dirt, it doesn't matter. Once you have that, you're going to grab your hoe and your bucket of water. First, you'll place your bucket of water and then you will place, or and then you will hoe all this grass. And once you have that, you can place your poppies. So once, the reason you have to do this is so that um, the hoppers underneath can pick up items through that because of this one pixel gap because of the tilted land. So as you can see, if I place an item, it will pick it up and it will put it in this chest because the tilted land is slightly smaller than normal block, so the hoppers underneath can pick it up. Once you have done this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place your dispensers along here and along here. And then after you have that, you're going to take your beehives and place your beehives in front of the dispensers. And after that, simplist simplistically just place some observers facing in to the beehives. Once you have that, take your block, your building block, and place blocks here and then you're going to want to place redstone dust on top of this now that you have that a good majority of the redstoning is done um, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to place some glass along the back 
of your farm here. And also place it here so that bees cannot get out. Once you've done that, place glass in between over top of the water and place glass rows across the top so that when you have your bees in, they cannot escape. Um, bees typically are the best thing to put in last. Um, if you're gonna put it in last, make sure you break that and then you'll, you, you can just bring in your bees. Um, as long as they are not really close to a bee nest already, they should, um, if you have a flower in your hand, they should follow you and um, they will go into the beehive and think of it as their home. I'm pretty sure you can only have three bees claim in, in one beehive as, as only three bees can claim a beehive as their home at a time. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, um, so once you've got that, you're going to want to dig out a little bit bigger of an area back here. Like that. And, um, you go down one deeper. And we're gonna do a little bit more redstoning. So you're gonna need two comparators. You're gonna put them here. Also get rid of these. And place Three redstone dust, two redstone dust. Why well, won't it let me place it? Uh, my mouse is really annoying right now. It's so finicky. Okay, place three redstone dust like that on each side. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want your repeaters and place them like this. Make sure they're both facing inwards into this block. Once you have that dig into and break these two blocks take your redstone torches place one here and one here well now that you have that you will want to break this out and also these once you've done that place two chests here and here and place a redstone or a hopper there and a hopper going into that a hopper going into here and a hopper going into that and that should be looking good um i suggest patching this up uh just it makes it easier to get around if it's patched up um and you can build a little exit like this so now you can go down in here check these these will be for your empty bottles that will be dispensed out and then these ones will be for your actual honey um to get that set up, you take any any block of choice and glass bottles. So you're gonna want glass bottles. Take about a stack, um, and go into these hoppers. You're gonna want to place maybe like five in each, like so. With any block, this doesn't matter. Make sure you don't put it in the first slot. And then uh, about 32 glass bottles in the hoppers. As you should see, these will start draining to about 25 and the rest will go into here. So once you've done that, you have your item sorting system done and completed. You can now go like this and you can place some glass over this um i'm gonna put my bees in really quick so also just let me set it today time set day and then i'm going to spawn in some bees my bees should start yeah either pollinating actually let me set the time tonight Time set night because if it's nighttime, they should, if they're not already pollinating, they'll just go straight into a beehive. What's 
happening up here? No, get down there. You're getting too high. Come on, little bee. So when you hear that weird like compost sound almost, um, that's just the bees going inside their hive. Um, I'm just gonna go keep going till they stop going into hives like that. Okay, and then I am just going to do slash kill. Don't get mad at me for this, okay? I just they're gonna be really, really in the way if they're like this type equals b sorry they have to go you have no idea how extraordinarily annoying it gets if you have extra bees now place your glass like this so that once they spawn back in they cannot get out um, make sure that over here is got glass like this so that bees cannot get out there and also make sure that there is glass like this um once you have that you can place hoppers like this all along going into there And you should, those will be for re-putting your bottles that are dispensed out into these chests. Um, that is for putting them back in. How did a cat get here? Oh, there's a village over here. Eh, who cares. Um, so that's, that's nice and simple. Um, now what we want to do is for the main part where to dispense the, um, Bottles, you're going to need 27 rails, 4 powered rails, uh, yada 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 yada. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boop, boop, boop. You're going to want to place some solid blocks there. And um, also, you're going to want to place a solid block there. So once you've done that, you're going to place a redstone torch here and here. That will power these right here. And then once those are powered, you're going to want to connect them up via a rail all the way across that. And then after you've done that, you're going to want to place a block there and up there. Break that bottom one and place a redstone torch here. And then do the same on this side. And then once you've done that, place two more powered rails here. And then connect them up like this. And do that on the other side as well. Um, once you have that, just place, um, I also suggest that you place a block here, place the redstone torch on that block, and then you can put a lever like here, 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 it doesn't matter. Um, but that allows you to toggle that on and off. So you can place that there, and you can fill it with bottles, and then you can reactivate it when you want to. So that will go along like this nice and easily um, toggle that off I'm going to fill it with a whole bunch of bottles so you just basically you're just gonna want to fill this all the way up with bottles if you can if you can't get as many in there as you can um, this will make it so that you can sit there for much longer without ever having to come back to it um, as much 
and you can just AFK at this a lot longer without uh, yeah, ever having to come back at, to it um, for as long. You will eventually always have to come back to it and uh, replace everything so that it works properly, but other than that, there isn't much more to this farm. Um, it only works that well during the, it only works during the day. So if you do time set day, or just sleep in a bed, um, all your bees should spawn. And um, you see, there, here's the my main problem. If you manage to get too many bees in there, you can end up with entity cramming and your bees will start dying off or an even bigger problem might be that a um, they will push each other out so that eventually one will be pushed out and then they tend to like to try and stay around the flowers and uh, they'll end up getting like caught on here and stuff and they'll go on the rails and they'll stop the copper mine they'll stop the uh, minecart chest and uh, get so it will just unload all of its bottles into one hopper and it, yeah it just causes a lot of problems so make sure that you only get the amount that is needed if you can even have less than that it doesn't really matter that much um, yeah just let it go and eventually, see I have nothing yet, but the longer you give this farm to do its thing, the more bottles that will end up in here. Like, I've already got eight in here somehow. And, um, that's probably because one bottle supposedly grew of honey, so all of them activate at the exact same time. So all these dispensers activate at the same time, they all dispense a bottle and then all eight of those bottles went into here. But simplistically, the sim, sim, it's as simple as just grabbing the bottles out of the chest and putting them back in there. And it'll do its thing. Just let it do its thing. You can just sit there for as long as you need. And uh, yeah. So that is the most efficient um, honey farm that is still resource cheap and easy for early game other than the fact that you if you want it to go for long periods of time without ever having to check on it you need a lot of bottles um, you get about a bottle per every piece of glass so basically it's just about a chest worth of glass and then you get just uh, of sand and you smelt it up into glass and turn it into bottles and you will have just just enough so as you can see all of that started happening now we got lots of bottles going in here we should get some honey um i don't know why we're not getting any honey it's a lot of bottles um also if you don't want if you what the? If you don't want any jams, that's. How did that happen? If you don't want uh, as many jams, like you can see, this is clearly going and dispensing a lot, or putting a lot into that dispenser. Um, if you don't want that to happen, because it is really frustrating when that happens, you simplistically just. Where's it going? Oh no, oh no, 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 Oh god, that would not have been good. Okay. Um, just, uh, basically expand this. So you just can put one there, and then break this one, and place a... Ah, come on, I can get it. There we go. Um, put that back, put this here, and rebuild it. How did that manage to... Never mind. I know how that managed to do that. Because there wasn't a lever on powering it. Okay, so now as you can see, because there's no hopper anywhere near it, when it stops, it cannot dispense extra bottles. 
So you can just put them in there. Well, so it's not dispensing. So it will, when you do that, it will end up dispensing it evenly. Um, you can also do that over here. Um, when you do do that over here, though, I do suggest that you... do that so that it um, doesn't get stuck as much. I'll uh, also do that on there. It just, it makes it a lot, actually wait, no, don't do that there, don't do that there. It makes it so that it will keep going to this side and then come back off with more power so that you don't accidentally have it get stuck or it slow down at all too much. Anyways, as you can see, honey is, why is this one putting out so much more. Why are all the bees on this side so lazy? Why are they so lazy? Uh, holy, yeah, they're all the, why are they so lazy? There's like zero honey coming off of that side. Anyways, yeah, for the first little while, you'll just want to continue going like that because the farm does tend to pick up a lot more. Oh, that's why, for some reason, all the bees are on that side. Or are they just going back into their thing, so they're all in there? I, think. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just let them do their thing, because it does not look like there's too many on that side. Anyways, yeah, um... That's it for this video. Oh, there it is. There all of it came in. Okay, bye.